A local 12 investigation confirms hundreds of pounds of radioactive uranium are released every year into a river that runs through Hamilton County. The releases are happening at Fernald, the site of a former uranium processing facility that once supplied cores for America's nuclear arsenal. The uranium discharges are legal and the government insists they're safe. Tonight, Local 12's Dwayne Pullman, who has spent months investigating, explains why this is happening and why a scientist is worried about what's in the water. The Fernald Preserve appears to be a perfect picture of how to clean up a high-level radioactive site. Wetlands, prairies, and woods have replaced one of the worst Superfund sites in the country. It looks pretty. It's nice. It's, it's what we wanted. It's, it's the lipstick on the pig. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Tony Tetsuwari was a senior environmental scientist at Fernald. From 1996 to 2006, Tetsuwari worked on the $4.4 billion cleanup of the former Fernald Feed Materials Production Facility. And for the next decade, Tetsuwari claimed radiation remains a real threat here. Is Fernald cleaned of radioactive danger? No, sir. Not at all. The primary danger lurks just below the surface. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, a 100-acre plume of uranium and other radioactive elements remains in the groundwater. There's a uranium plume underneath the site. Bill Hurdle, the site manager at Fernald, works for Navarro, a contractor hired by the U.S. Department of Energy. This plume is kind of like an ink stain on your shirt. We've pumped 40-some uh, billion gallons of, of water out of this aquifer, so we've, we've washed that shirt a bunch of times. Hurdle tells me the uranium in the groundwater won't be clean to safe drinking water standards until at least 2036. This is where we treat for the uranium with uh, uh, filtration. This is the heart of that cleanup, a water treatment plant where 23 wells pump water from the aquifer to this plant for filtration. Oh, this is it. what filters out the uranium. It's the ion exchange resin and it's little tiny beads. So when this is on, you get the uranium. That's correct. But most of the time, the system is off. Last year, DOE confirms the groundwater was filtered only on 13 days. The reason? When uranium in the groundwater is less than 30 parts per billion, that's the EPA safe drinking water standard, Fernald bypasses the filters and sends the uranium to the Great Miami River. It just gets pumped out, correct? It just gets pumped out to the river, that's correct. The uranium that's coming out mm -hmm. is radioactive, correct? Uh, yes. How much uranium is being released from the site? Uh, a little over 500 pounds per year. According to data from the DOE, 3.3 tons of uranium has been dumped into the Great Miami since 2007, the year Fernald was officially cleaned up. The uranium we're discharging to the river is dissolved in the water. Hurdle and the DOE insist all that uranium released is safe. The uranium discharges, Hurdle says, mix with background levels in the river and pose less than a one in a billion cancer risk. That's not significant to present a, hit, a risk to anyone? Uh, no, it's not, based on the calculations that were done and that were approved and reviewed by EPA. The EPA agrees, telling me its cancer risk models, which are reviewed at Fernald every five years, are sound. And the data supports the position that we've taken on with regard to continuing monitoring. It's basically, trust us, we're scientists we know. Right. I mean, it really is. I, I concur. Still, real cancer rates near Fernald and the Great Miami River are not being studied. What kinds of follow-ups are being done on cancer rates adjacent to the river? Uh, nothing here at the site. You know, again, um, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not aware of anything. The water treatment plant at Fernald is being rebuilt. New filters are being installed, but it will function like the old one with water bypassing the filter when the uranium isn't high enough to trigger treatment. Why not just filter all of it? 
Well, the, it's a cost thing. While the uranium flows to the Great Miami, these old pipes that once carried the groundwater at Fernald are stacked and bagged, now classified as low-level radioactive waste. Is the radioactive threat at Fernald still there? Yes, sir. Meanwhile, that former senior environmental scientist at Fernald, Tony Tetsawari, looked over a landscape that continued to worry him. The Superfund site that we're standing on was deemed cleaned up. Right. And you're saying? Not so fast. By the way, the cost to operate that water treatment plant last year at Fernald was $2.8 million. Again, Bill Hertel and DOE say all that uranium flowing into the Great Miami is safe, safe enough that you can swim in the river and even take a gulp of, of it. That was a question that the scientist was asking at the time. Okay, now Tony was his name, right? right? The former environmental scientist. Tony Tetsawari. What yes. did Tony think about what you uncovered? He was very pleased. He, he actually said we had a phone call on January 10th, and that's a significant day because we talked about what I found. He was excited about mm -hmm. that. Unfortunately, just about an hour and a half later after that, he had a massive heart attack and passed away. Oh, it was a no. shock to everyone. He was right. 62 years old, oh. but he said this was a significant find. By the way, what he tipped me to originally mm -hmm. wasn't even that. He tipped me about some other issues at Fernald, including what's in the air. We're gonna explore that tomorrow at 11 on his original tip. Okay, we'll look forward to it.